of creating your meal plan. So for women, we get shortchanged. We always get shortchanged when it comes to calories. It's really sad. Um, if you're trying to lose weight, um, and if you're overweight, they recommend even a five to 10 percent weight loss for better control of diabetes. If you need, if you fall into that category, and for weight loss, women would eat two to three carb choices or 30 to 45 grams of carbohydrate per meal. There's other things you do if you're trying to lose weight, like choosing lean, lean proteins and cutting back on fats. But within the carb realm, which is what we're most in, most concerned about as a diabetic, you want to make sure it stays between two or three carbs. Or if you're happy with your weight or your doctor doesn't yell at you, then as a woman you would go to three to four carbs, all right? Which equates to about 45 to 60 grams of carbohydrate. So it just depends how you're comfortable in counting. Whether you like to count by choices, knowing that equals 15 grams, or if you like counting the carbs per gram, so 45 to 60. All right, so it's Got, you have that flexibility of how it works best for you. Now, if you're a snacker, and I encourage snacking personally, um, zero to one carb choices or 15 grams of carb at a snack. Um, it's always good to couple your carb with a protein. So having a three gram cracker squares with a tablespoon of peanut butter is a real, excuse me, a really good snack. Or a small piece of fruit, with a little bit of cottage cheese, putting protein and that, and that carb together. But I encourage snacking, and if you are wanting to lose weight, you really should snack, because the more you eat throughout the day, you distribute your calories throughout the day, the more efficient your metabolism is. It, it's like putting the accelerator to, your, accelerator to your gas pedal. The more you use that accelerator, the more gas you use. It's the same principle in the body. The more you use your metabolism, the, better, the more calories it burns and we use it by eating. Men, you guys get a little bit more carbs than women here. Um, if you're trying to lose weight, it's between three to four carb choices or 45 to 60 grams per meal. If you're happy with your weight, don't need to lose any, most of you men look pretty good here, that means you can have four to five carbs per meal or 60 to 75 grams. Again, depends on how you prefer to count. Not all foods, those labels, might be a little misleading in the fact that they were basically a carb choice or two carb choices, but some foods may only have 10 grams of carb or five grams of carb, so then you can use carb counting per gram. And then again, snacks are zero to one carb, or if you like a little heftier snack you men, you can take one of your carbs from your meal and add it to your snack. And again, adding that protein to the snack really helps slow the digestion of those carbs. It gives that snack a little bit more umph and staying power so that maybe your meals will be a little smaller. Because you can see this isn't huge meals. I, for example, I ate dinner last night and I hadn't eaten lunch, shame on me. I broke my own cardinal rule of not skipping meals and I hadn't really snacked very well all day. So I got done working out, I sit down at dinner and I look at my plate, I have two rolls and two cups of pasta on my plate. I was like, it's a good thing I'm not diabetic because I just delved for you, that would be six, seven, eight carbs that I ate for dinner last night. So you guys don't want to follow my plan of skipping lunch and then eating too much after that because your body can only process so much sugar. But I was really that hungry, so anyways. All right, so getting to the nitty gritty of this. These are standard serving sizes. We've covered food labels um, as a great tool because that's very specific to the food that you're consuming if it's available. But if it's not available, you're out and about, this is standard serving sizes within the starch group. So one slice of bread is typically one serving. Unless you go for the breads that are the light breads. Um, has anybody used the light breads? The light breads. And some of those you get two slices for one carb serving. So you get a little bit more bang for your buck, a whole sandwich for one carb. So if people like bread, that would be a good way of doing it, is getting those lighter breads. They're just a little bit more airier. Airy, is that a word? But anyway, they have a little bit more air in them. They're lighter. Um, if you're getting dense re bread, it could actually be a little bit more than carbs per one slice. So it's always good to look at that label. 
For English muffins, buns, or small bagels, um, that is a half of one of those is a serving. So if you're eating a whole English muffin, you have to count it as two. So think about that sandwich you just made with bread. If it's got two pieces, it's two servings. And this is the size of a bagel. Now, does this look like a Panera bagel? No. And does it look like a Tim Hortons bagel? Does it look like the bakery bagel? No. This is actually a Linder's bagel size. All right. So I, I show this because you have to be really careful with bagels. All right. Those Panera bagels, they're really good. They're awesome. But it's a quarter of a bagel as a serving. So if you eat a whole Panera bagel, you have to count it as four carbs. All right. If you get a Linder's bagel, you can have the whole thing for two carbs. So my husband and my daughter, the daughters do the Linder's or the the um, Panera bagel size, and my son, he does the Linder's. <laughs> so we do all kinds of sizes in my house. But keep that in mind. It's one ounce. This is two ounces shown. 